A beautiful sunset across Whatcom County ahead of what turned into a very cold and very windy night. The National Weather Service predicting gale force winds gusting between 30 to 40 miles per hour, gusts topping 55 miles an hour. It's been a lot worse. You know, uh, the worst I've seen it is 60 mile an hour gusts. Vic Kano lives on his boat and isn't deterred by the wind advisory, at least not this time. I've been living on a boat for 12 years here, I guess, and you know, sometimes you get some really cold, windy weather, and uh, when a wind is really howling, I just make sure I got extra lines tied up to the dock and I rock a roll a little bit, but but it's it's fun. Just life on the water. It is. I love living down here on the harbor. Winter leaving its mark on Whatcom County this season. 2,000 buildings were damaged in November when the Nooksack River flooded. Damages estimated at more than $100 million. Today, another harsh forecast is on its way. If you're one of those boats that's anchored out in front of Boulevard Park and it's gusting 40, 50, 60, I wouldn't want to be out there, no. Another round of severe weather. Time to batten down the hatches. According to the National Weather Service, that high wind advisory is expected to be in place until 4 p.m. on Tuesday. In Bellingham, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.